Hi Taurus, welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Uh, Taurus, this is your love reading starting today on the 8th of September and just forward. Uh, I, it's, it's not a specific end date to this, but so this is the energy from now and forward. And I'm using your awakening path here as a foundation because it doesn't really matter if you're looking for, for a job, looking for... Um, Whatever this is, I think and believe that we're all on this awakening journey. So let's see what's going on for you specifically in your in the terms of love. And I'm using the Archangel Power Tarot cards to first just get an overall view over your love energy for the future. And then we're going to look into your energy around it. And then, oh, wow. And then your person's energy around it starting really good we're waiting for one more please fast forward if you don't like to wait for this this is awesome so the first card out is 10 of Raphael with the rainbow there. And it's, I just wanted to read on the bottom. Love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members. Happily ever after. Goodbye. I rest my case. Look at that. Always in your questionable clothing. <laughs> and I was being a bit reflective here um also the card is being reversed and it's how it is uh, so good 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 is like this it wants to show you just the most beautiful almost picture perfect because the picture is perfect if you like this type of clothes um and how you're like really um I want to use the word finding each other. So I feel both. I feel this is both for singles and already in a committed relationship. And being in a committed relationship is what it is what comes out first because it's like a feeling of finding each other again. I don't think this is necessarily a separation, but maybe even just a separation under the same roof. It's like maybe something's been up, something's been going on that sort of hasn't felt really good in a while. Um, Maybe not a full-blown fight or anything, just a bit quiet. It's like it's been... If you could focus. It's like it's been a bit quiet. And it's like you're finding each other again. This is the most harmonious, peaceful energy ever. And I'm strongly drawn to that tree behind there. So it's the, it talks about the tree of life, how things are just keep growing and keep expanding. And also something about brand, like a branch, like some, somebody's giving you the branch or whether this is you Taurus giving your person, like reaching out a branch for them to grab hold on, hold to, however you say that. Um, so maybe it's been, it's been like quiet for a while and, and somebody's just got to reach out. Somebody's just, has to sort of start talking because you could go on quiet forever it feels like <laughs> um and then there's some like i think this is like laying in a foundation or something this is if you're in a in a committed relationship still it's like you're laying in a foundation i see like pillars in the back there uh wanting perhaps even to build build a new home for some of you guys wanting to wanting to come into this new life together with on, on a new foundation or literally in a new home if this is you being single i see the phoenix rising standing out very clearly there on top of the rainbow so it's like the phoenix rising it's like taurus if you're single now it's like you've been going through uh the dark night of the soul like really rising up as the phoenix rising and what what aftermath is almost like you see those day planes those planes flying by that really leaves a lot of smoke after it um and so the plane comes in with a lot of noise they're really hard like metal like obnoxiously loud 
and just flying through the air and after it it leaves just this white fluffy smoke and it's like it's it's like this is would be the airplane and after it, it leaves this light fluffy rainbow so first had this first this plane had to happen first this bursting through the air flying through the air the phoenix rising uh that would then lead to this beautiful rainbow effect so this is what i pick up for you we're going to go deeper into this and find out what's going on here but there's way more like a phoenix rising situation for the singles and sort of like a quiet moment here for uh if you're in a committed relationship and you're starting to talk again I just want to stress that it like on the bottom it says love and blessings fill your life harmonious relationships with family members happily ever after so it's like it really is going it's it's on its way to be completely beautiful it's also 10 of Raphael so Raphael speaks about the healing about being whole about coming into your own and 10 is all all about um completion we're completing something we're 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 ending a cycle we're coming full circle around something and and just moving on to the next to the new um and then we have ace of michael ace is just so beautiful ace is the highest possible energy in any situation so we're talking and dealing with the highest possible energy in this relationship whether you're in a committed or single um and with michael there being so blue like michael couldn't be more blue to me if he tried uh it's all about the honesty the authenticity it's all about your throat chakra so Taurus if you've been dealing with a bit of a situation around your throat lately um that might have something to do with it uh that you're just clearing out what hasn't felt good and if you've been if you are in a committed relationship and you've been quiet forever you sort of haven't spoken up or spoken your truth or just being maybe a bit irritated or frustrated with your partner that's sort of also blocking your your throat chakra a tiny bit and that's going to be cleared now like we have the highest possible energy around your authenticity around your truth around your voice um and michael also is all about action for me michael comes in when it's time for movement when it's time for action let's do this and if this is you being i see it's a bit wobbly when i sit here touching the table uh, if this is uh, you being single, Taurus, this is just showing that the highest possible energy around your meeting this new person is here. And Michael is here to tell you that it's movement forward now. It's time to make this connection with this person. So that's really beautiful. So I'm going to go deeper into each of these and find out more. Um, and I'm using the Mystical Wisdom deck absolutely gorgeous to just go deeper here so can we clarify the ten of Raphael please clarify ten of Raphael please so maybe it's your energy that I pick up because I feel like I mean these are absolutely mind-blowingly good cards and it's like, um, yeah, so I'm talking about this uh, happily ever after. If, if somebody got happily ever after, I think they would be happy ever after. You know, it would be so exciting. And this Ace of Michael, like the highest possible energy around a love relationship. Um, it's so, I didn't read that. That's so interesting. Um, I have to read it out because I didn't see, I wasn't drawn to it before. A uh, wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. So that's definitely f for you guys. Um, <laughs> if you're in this committed relationship and there's been sort of, I don't know, towards if it's been like the silent treatment is going on, whether that is you treating your partner this way or your partner treating you this way, it ends up for the both of you to just withdraw a tiny bit, it feels. But now you're coming out of it. So like I said, this is this is so good energy, but I'm like so and so excited about it. Like I'm I'm not sort of doing a really good job at conveying just just how beautiful the energy is. And and I think I picked that up from you. Yeah, it's all good, it's all well, you know, but mm, 
because I because perhaps you've been a bit in a rut. But let's find out. Let's find out. Let's go deeper. So ten of Raphael. Sorry for laughing. It's like it, it's like you're almost a bit cute to be a bit annoyed with your partner to the point where you're just being quiet. It's a bit childish, a bit childlike um, behavior, I have to say. Whoops, I'm just the first card. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this this is exactly what I pick up. It's like Battle of the Blues. So there's been some sort of tornado here. There's been some sort of um, fight. I feel like you're getting over it. Like you're getting over it. You're getting a bit tired of it. Like um, like the same old, same old feeling. If, if you should fight over something or if you should argue about something or discuss something, it's like, can it just please be something new for once? It's like you're going around and around in circles and just having the same, it's the same discussion, it's the same. Um, and so this is like you resting your case. It's like, I, I am done. I rest my case. I'm not gonna, so may, uh, maybe this is you, Taurus, um, not wanting to talk about it because nothing is new under the sun. It's like, Ugh. and I get the beads there. So maybe, I don't know if this is, this is my just before one person is these things come comes through every once in a while uh and i've learned not to hold them back so i'm just gonna say new orleans new orleans might be a connection for somebody new, new orleans is that what you say new orleans new orleans um could that be anywhere else but america i don't know or, or carnival, if carnival makes sense to somebody, or like these beads, like these um, necklace beads for some reason. Maybe somebody just got this, or you got this as a present, or maybe, that, maybe that's the fight. You, you were expecting something else, and you, for the fifth time in a row, you got the same beads. Like, really? No, that's not it. Uh, I'm just joking now. But... There's something with the beads or carnival, New Orleans, New Orleans. Something, something, something for somebody. Then I think this message is really for you or you really recognize yourself in this. Uh, there's also full moon in the back there. A lot of energy shifts happening right now. I mean, we have um, Venus moving through Leo just started and is going to stay in Leo until early October I know this because I'm a Leo the rest I have no clue I'm not pretending to have any idea about it that's the only thing I know I know though also I think it's Mars I said this to Aries also because it, it was the Aries reading I think it's Mars that is sort of re-entering its own sign which is Aries uh, tomorrow on the 9th which calms everything down for everybody so if, if, if it has been a bit of heated discussion, if, if it has led to this sort of frustration, uh, being quiet, you know, it, by tomorrow that, that energy is going to sort of resolve. Um, it might lighten the load a bit. And also I feel, I still feel the, I'm using very fancy words here that I don't know if they're correct, but re, repercussion? If there's any repercussion um, is what I'm getting. So I hope that's correct. Uh, after the full moon, like we have some things stacking up around the full moon and, and it still lingers is what it feels like. So so just give it a, more, a few more days and it will resolve itself almost. It's almost like you don't have to do anything. I think you should though. It's not... That's my personal opinion, and that doesn't count whatsoever. So, um, yeah, something about the New Orleans or New, the pearls there, or carnival or festival or anything like that. Okay, and then we want to clarify this A Ace of Michael, please. Yeah, 
I'm being brought, brought, <laughs> I'm being brought back to the, this card, but I'm just gonna finalize this uh, shuffling here for this new card, this new um, card for this Ace of Michael. Something really specific wants to come out. Sorry, I'm a bit itchy around my nose. Ooh, really cool. I'm being brought, brought, brought back here to the this first card and to talk about the singles. Because at first I didn't think there was anything for you single guys to find out about this. But I think that these just, it just talks about how your lonely days are over. Like your battles from the past or like your, this Phoenix rising that comes up for you guys. Um, this uh, Dark Knight of the Soul moving forward, moving like upwards and onwards is what I feel. And so the battle is really over. If there's been some, some hardship there in the past around your love situation, it's like you're resting your case. You really, really have no more fight in you. It's just, you just want to move forward with love. And this is what this card is talking about. And then under this Ace of Michael, uh, comes these beautiful cards so dragon and children so I'm gonna start with this child card uh, children know that your children are protected so if if we're starting with committed if you've been in a in a longer fight if this has been sort of a fight that's been dra dragging out maybe over the years and that's why you're so sick and tired of it like the same old same old same old story i feel like it's going to lead to something good i don't feel like a separation coming on coming on in here uh, but see let's see where it goes let's see where it takes us because some of you guys need to hear that your children are fine and maybe you're starting to wonder if this really affects your children like being this sort of frustrated with your partner or your partner being really frustrated with you over time you might just wonder is this wearing down our kids or child like if, if you have one or four or however many um is this wearing them down and just know that this uh confirms that <laughs> no uh it just confirms that they're still blossoming like this major flower here with this strength in this tiger just protecting this child these children are beyond fine they are doing well on their own and they are like of course everybody could have and, and should have a loving home a loving upbringing but they don't care all that much is what i pick up they're not that like invested in what's going on they really are tending to their own growth their own whatever's going on for them Okay, this is what comes out first, and it's sort of, sort of, they're coming out sort of together. They were coming out together, but having a similar message, because I feel like this is is sort of a an extension here of this child card for this dragon. It's like it's learning. Uh, this dragon comes out when somebody needs a little push, a little hint, and to be uh, rec um, reminded of their courage their courage to to stand up for themselves to be who they are and it comes out next to this child card as a clarification underneath this highest possible energy being around so it's almost just on its own a, a child card like it's a clarification around children and so there could be quite a few of you out there wondering how the children are doing in the midst of everything and this could also be if you're single what does it do to your child or children if you're single and they don't have sort of if it's a bit back and forth between um sort of having your children every other week or if this is you being single and having your children all the time with sort of not the second if you're if you're a full-time dad with no mom as a reference or if you're a full-time mom with no dad as a reference you might wonder like does it harm them does it hurt them no it doesn't 
there's something that actually is bringing out some sort of courage within them right now. The, their, the dragon energy is there to sort of protect them, but at the same time, bringing out some sort of courage within them. Within them. I hope this makes sense. That was a very like isolated message. So for some of you guys who have ch has children, know that your kids are fine and they're actually growing from this. They are learning from this. Okay, so they want some they want something brand new. Okay. Thank you. So I want to uh, have the energy around you and then we're going to look into the energy around your person, whether you're single or in a committed relationship. No, I mean, <laughs> I think you know what I mean. <laughs> but whether you are, it's like, you don't want to. Okay, energy around your... Energy around Taurus. That was tough. Energy around Taurus. There you go. Wow, three of Michael... So I just want, it's been a, it's been a heavy heart here. So in terms of love tours, my, something might have just happened where you just, I don't know, I, I get this fed up feeling like you're just, enough is enough. It's like, um, I'm not going to take it anymore. And, and Michael is there to sort of, again, show you that it's time for action. It's time to, it's like, it's time to do something different Taurus because this is going to continue. If you haven't changed anything up until this point if you're in a committed relationship and you and your person haven't changed anything up until this point why is it ever going to change and it's almost like it's being shown here i'm so drawn to this there's like a black heart underneath michael's wing here it's not if i show you too close it's not going to look like that so i actually don't want want it to focus in because this is just the trees are forming this from a distance so it looks like a black heart underneath Michael's wing here. And on top of it, there's a white dove. So it's like, it's almost like a choice here. Like you get to choose now. You feel a bit, you feel a bit down and out. Like you're, like I get this, this um, really frustrated, like tiresome feeling. I don't think it's the end of the world. I don't think it's, it's super, super grief. I don't think it's anything like heavy, heavy sorrow. I feel like a tired feeling, like I rest my case. I, how many times can we talk about this and still no change? How many times can, like, how many times should I be fine with this? The thing is, Michael has showed up twice. And first time he has showed up with the highest possible energy for you. And it's sort of like, it's almost time to make a choice here. It's so interesting because we're, we we were looking at this as a foundation. So I th I'm starting to understand that this probably is an idea for you. This is what you're seeking. You're seeking really hideous clothes. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I think we need to bring a lot of humor into this. And for you to understand that what is it that you want? You want this, Taurus. And whether you're single or whether you're in a committed relationship, this is your aim. It's like you want a really happy family life where the kids are happy and content and safe. You want your happily ever after. This is, I feel this is more towards uh, the committed relationship than the single. And uh, so I feel here like you, you feel really uh, tired is what I pick up. I'm going to draw an extra card for singles because I'm not sure that the single energy is that defeated or that tired. So can I get the energy around Taurus if, you're, if they're single? Not at all. Um, well, somewhat but not as heavy as the other one. So this is like page on Michael. This is turning the page and moving along. This is like, I'm going to read on the bottom. An exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. Um, what I feel here is that you're moving on when it comes to sort of, it's like you learned your lessons from the past. Love 
or non-love has has really taught you well it feels like and you're moving on to the next page you're turning the page moving on to something new and exciting and this is you sort of stepping into your power this is you uh nine of raphael is all about the healing is all about feeling whole it's all about creating this new next step for yourself is a magician magician feeling around this so this is like you creating your own reality around your love interest right now okay and then i want the energy around your person if you're in a committed i want the energy around the person if you're committed Wow. Wow. <laughs> so number 16, change your life. This is what's going through uh, your person's mind. 16 is all about sudden shifts and sudden changes. And it says change your life underneath it. Uh, in their quiet moments, in their quiet time, I, I, I feel like they're feeling the same as you. Something's got to give here. Something's got to shift. They want something different as well. And with this uh, Ten of Michael, they're sort of throwing in the towel. I don't, I don't, I hate to be this person that brings this sort of news. I don't, I don't think that you're, I don't think that you're, um, not aware of this because this these are your own thoughts and this is what comes out around your person as well like 10 here is like a completion a completion a completion something has ended they're done with this whole charade they're done with this whole ordeal as well i don't think they know fully what they're done with if that makes any sense they just feel like they also had enough but there's there they're considering as well is, is this really the happy home life that we're reaching for some sort of shift might come in here with this high high energy with this ace of michael like it could it's like it's like they feel because we have the star here the star is wish fulfillment number 17 with the star 17 is all about immortality that's your happily ever after the star could represent a, an aquarius energy for some reason um the aquarius energy speaks about new ideas new innovative ideas new like go where nobody else has ever gone before um and it's like you feel like if there's there's the the ground here is so good it's like we have a fam happy family home happy family life with this high 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 energy in this situation like it could be so good and so taurus i think both of you are really heavily thinking about whether to go your separate ways or something really like they just fully they're just okay so i'm so that show is over. We can't continue to do this. And I don't know if it's necessarily you can't continue to do this relationship. I think it's the very thing that you both get fed up around. And then I'm going to look into your person if you're single. Is there, I feel like they're, no? Okay. They're very different energies. Wow. Wow. yeah oh my god birds birds and more birds birds to me are like the guidance the clear guidance this is you being guided up this is like divine guidance has always been with you whatever you've been going through this phoenix rising situation it's like divine guidance has been there and guided you through it all and really are wanting to lift your spirit eight of gabriel eight speaks about the manifestation of things the endless possibilities that you're now stepping into and look at this we have queen of ariel and king of raphael 
see this is like your this is you this is you and your person this is this is coming out as a representation of what's about to come in for you you feeling really really good about yourself this is tying a bit into the future but you feeling really good about yourself and attracting this beautiful person I see you because of the love here. It's not gender specific, so you can swap the genders around however you want. But this is the king and the queen. We have the king and the queen here. So it's talking about this beautiful connection happening for you if you're single, Taurus. So I'm going to continue to pull cards in the extended and see what else I can find around this, both for the um, committed and for the single. So if you feel like that's interesting, um come to the extended with the link in the description box down below if not thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you back soon